sometimes clients ask me, why don't my books equal my tax return? Here I have a sample partnership that sold something and had cost of goods sold, had some expenses, had some investment income. And so the net income for this sample partnership is 124,300. Why then does their tax return show only an income of 105,550 on the front page? Well, the front page, first of all, isn't the whole story. That's just the ordinary business income. We also see that there are, is dividend income that goes not on the front page, but here on Schedule K. And if we scroll all the way down here to the analysis of net income per return, in total, there's $120,550 worth of taxable income on this tax return. How do we go from the 124,300 to the 120,550? All the magic happens down here in Schedule M1. Notice that this is the reconciliation of the books to the tax return. So we start with the book income of 124,300. We then have expenses that are on the books that we can't deduct. In this case, it's one half of my meals expense. So I'm adding that back. Then I have some income that's on my books that isn't taxable. All of my interest income is exempt interest. So I get to subtract that. So that's how my 124,300 worth of book income turns into 120,000 $550 of taxable income. If we go back to Schedule K, we see the taxable pieces up here, but it also lists down here the tax exempt income and the non-deductible expenses. This is exactly what gets split amongst the partners. So I have a 75% partner here who gets some ordinary income, some dividends, and it also reports the non-deductible and tax exempt pieces, likewise, my 25% partner gets their pieces of those same things.